If your speech pattern is fast, take a deep breath and breathe out. Notice when it is. Ask your friends to help you keep track of it and say that it's getting in the way of you getting at girls. Don't try to get too specific if you feel like mental health is saying you're bipolar. This is about slowing, using martial arts energy to slow your brain down. Long ago, my Asian brothers from the White Temple, you know, were, were friends of my ancestors. And that's part of why this hurts it. People from all races were separated like slaves being taken, slaves' families being separated, except for we were temple families. And we intermarried. Some of us are even pretty related to each other. But over time, they've married with the people they left with, and they've lost, you know, their, their genes have become kind of, you know, diluted, so they don't know who they are. But every once in a while, those genes express themselves like the heart, right? The heart. The heart is a, a dominant gene in Africa. Having heart. We all have heart. There's very few niggas, no disrespect to any other race, who don't have heart. So those Asians and other races who are who are expressing that heart gene, that African heart, the heart of heart, that heart we have, and go boom, 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 you know? They're not playing around. Some of them were samurai, you know? And so when you're taking on these very serious, you know, um, head uh, cult, you know, kind of businessman types in the samurai, uh, Chinese, like in the Chinese connection, the head samurai guy. You're taking on these kind of guys and that Russian kind of guy. When you're talking about these guys, right? You know, you think some namby pamby liberal Scooby Doo type. No disrespect to Scooby Doo hippies or anything. I lay y'all. I lay y'all to death. But it doesn't pay to be that type of person and taking them on by yourself. And considering how groups, movements are co opted and controlled and taken over, right? And it's hard to be have any uncontrolled opposition. It's nearly impossible in this day and age to be uncontrolled opposition as a group. So what ends up happening, my friends, is that the best way to take them on is as an individual martial artist, which is why they demonize the lone wolf. The wolf demonizing the wolf while celebrating Wolverine and having a Nazi wolf culture and a Roman wolf culture. Right, the werewolves, the Vikings, the Nazis. You look at the history of Rome, right? The New World Order, who are they? The Romans, the Greeks, you know, Alexander the Great, the Romans, you know, Julius Caesar, right? All these other Romans, okay? The Vikings, okay? So the Vikings, the Germans, the Romans, and the Greeks all talked about, and the French with Napoleon. These are all people with empires. And there's Russian czars, and the Vikings stopped off in Russia. And we can go on and on and connect every European family with aspirations for a new world order with these Jewish bankers and the wars, the Habsburgs and the different dynasties and the robber barons. So we can go through the detail. This is mainstream history. Okay? When you are taking on these types of people, you will be mad. They are killing people. Calculate how many people they kill. Depending on the year and what's going on, it can be anywhere between one every second, I believe it was, or was it two or three or four people a second are dying of preventable deaths. Starvation, communicable, non-communicable disease, you know, infectious diseases, you know, bad water, hunger, you know, things, these things add up to a high death toll annually, right? And you calculate it by the second, you're going to see that every second people are dying of preventable deaths. And there's these very serious, greedy guys talking about, don't mess with our business. I'm not going to warn you again. You know, you got mafia guys rolling up on you like, nigga, who do you think you're messing with, man? Your people aren't going to help you, but our people are going to help us, right? So now you're faced with a choice, right? You sell out. You back down, which is basically selling out too, right? You take the medicine. You pretend you're crazy. You kiss white people's ass. You tell them what they want to hear. Or you realize that some things are more important than a house nigga's opinion. Some things are more important than a house nigga's business ventures and partnerships with these white racists. Some things are more important than house niggas themselves. As hard as it is for the opposition view in the black community to understand that. And as much as they will avoid the argument, as much as they will oversimplify and overgeneralize, even though they have, some of them are professors and have and PhDs. They will first send out their little minions to do the talking for them. And when I eat them up like the little pussies they are, they will then proceed to come out the floorboards themselves. The serpents will show their little viper faces, having been thoroughly embarrassed before their pupils, apprentices, and students. 
And then I will own those bitches because my philosophy is superior. And uh, I'm that guy who has those qualities that we need to change the world uncontrolled. It is Chukwu Emeka, the top martial artist. And the, who you niggas thought it was?